back at the router lathe today looking over some things that may have caused me to have some accuracy problems on that eight-sided handle I tried to do the other day. Uh, one of the problems I had was there was a dowel over here in the follower that was had a little wobble to it that was allowing for some uh, inaccuracy. I'm okay up and down here I think but the there's just a little bit of movement side to side but overall I found that if I push here on this part of the machine I can cause it to cut deeper than if I use the bolt over here on the follower so I'm gonna uh, try and for roughing it doesn't matter but for the finished cut I'm gonna try and put the pressure on this side I also made a bunch of these uh, shims for to go under so that I could put them under the uh, guide over here for minor adjustments. These are about ten thousandths each. So I'm going to make it a dowel here and, and see how the accuracy is from one end to another. Okay, so let's see if I can cut a straight dowel here. Okay, this sin comes in at uh, 579 thousandths. And this one at 587 thousandths. So I'm basically six thousandths off, which uh, for a dowel isn't too bad. One thing I'm finding out with this machine is I try and get more and more precise with it uh, I know for sure that I'll never have to buy another dowel again as long as I live okay so with a few more shims over here on this side to accommodate the larger piece of wood I'm gonna round this up and uh, get ready to cut the, the flutes down the side of it I didn't measure that before I turned off the camera. One point three nine four. One point four one zero. Oh. So that's 16 thousandths difference from one end to another. I guess that's what they make sandpaper for. Okay, I took out one of my paper shims here and it measures 0 0.047, 47 thousandths four one hundredths of an inch. I don't know if that's going to be enough to take out to for the flats to get eight flat sides on this but I'm going to try a couple of cuts here and if I need to I'll take out one more shim in order to do that.
I'll speed this video up to finish the job so that it uh, won't take so long. Well, that is much, much nicer. I'll cut, uh, I'll cut both ends off so that we can look at it from the end. But uh, that's uh, that's a pretty nice eight-sided piece there. Okay, I got it cut off, and uh, it looks pretty darn good. Certainly, a lot better than my first try with it and I don't know how well you can see the end there but if you uh, need to make an egg-sided handle for something I I think this is a pretty good way to do it we'll see what else I can do with it next time but I have found out that if you want to make one of these you're going to want adjustable feet so that you can level the thing you're going to want some kind of a mechanical device over here I think but if you had uh, some screws that are 20 threads per inch on the uh, template side you'd be able to make fine adjustments without having to mess around with all these shims and stuff but so far so good thanks for watching